German tanks, they are no strangers to the battlefield, and Overwatch has one itself. Reinhardt. Yes. Precision German engineering. Tell me about this guy. He's good at sitting on payloads. I know that for oh one. Oh my goodness. Reinhardt is your objective, dude, all right? Like, you are on the payload when it's moving. You are pushing in to capture points. You are using that big shield to be the front man for your team. You are the front line as Reinhardt, and so that makes him a super valuable player. And also because of his skill set, he's a pretty easy character to step in and play. So what else does he do apart from the shield, right? We all see the shield, it's great for sitting on points, but what does he uh, do in terms of attacking? You're, you're having the shield up, but people are going to want to get around your shield. They're going to want to get close to you to take you down. So when they get close, don't be afraid to just drop that shield and take some swings. Your hammer covers a big area. Take a few swings inside the spawn area, see what junk you knock over. That's a good way to get a sense for just the kind of area you can cover with those hammer swings. Excellent. So what about the charge? Obviously, he's able to charge them people, slam them up against walls. When should you be using this and when should you not? The charge is tricky because you don't want to charge way past your team, get caught behind enemy lines because they will just chew you up. You also don't want to go flying off into oblivion. There are a lot of edges on these maps and don't worry, it's a Reinhardt Rite of Passage. We've it all done it. To us. <laughs> <laughs> but the charge is great for singling out offense heroes who are trying to get your goat, because you will pin them and you will kill them in one shot. Also, if tanks like Roadhog and Winston are meddling all up in your face, you pin them, not only do they get a bit of a stun uh, and get a chunk of their health out, but you'll be able to swing on them and bring them down. And also the charge is really an eye-catching move. So your teammates sees you running off with Winston, they're gonna pile on the damage, they're gonna take down whoever you've pinned. What about his fire strike? It seems like it almost gets lost in the moveset. When should you be using that? They gave him a projectile. Mm. So you can throw out this projectile and it does do significant damage. It covers a pretty good area, so, uh, and it also goes through shields. Mm. So you can harass an enemy Reinhardt that way. You can get through Winston's shields. Uh, you can really cause some ha you can cause some disruption. And so I say use that as frequently as you can. It's worth dropping the shield for a hot second to throw it out, even if a turret is sort of focusing down on you because you can chip away at that turret, you can get your shield right back up, and then you're back in the protecting business. He's got a pretty uh, meaty ult in Earth Shatter. It's able to knock down a bunch of people. When should you be using that? Can you do it on your own, or should you have some backup? Throwing the hammer down rock, knocks people down in a cone in front of you and deals damage. Mm. Then you can wade in and sort of get a few hammer swings in before they kip back up. But if you get a few people down, or if you get a tank down, you're probably not going to be able to take them out yourself. Teaming up with other players to do damage, to help shoot the characters who are on the ground, maybe throw their ult in there, a Farah ult, a Junkrat ult. Those can be great damage multipliers and a great way to take down a significant chunk of the team fast. So who are some of the matchups that are going to work out best for you? Who does your shield sort of work against and who are you most exposed with with Reinhardt? Well, the shield is a great way to make Soldier 76, make Widowmaker, make these characters that are trying to do mid-range to long-range damage uh, to take them out of the game almost, mm. you know, make them reposition because you can soak up a lot and you're going to get a lot of payload movement out of them. Of course, the shield does need to recharge, and you will have characters who just hammer on your shield just to make it go down. Whenever you're not using it, it's recharging, but you're also exposed, so use some of the alcoves to duck into. People aren't necessarily going to pursue you in there because you have a huge hammer, so you can usually take a second. Just try to communicate to your teammates when the shield is going down, and if you're playing with a Reinhardt, keep an eye on the shield yourself. Cracks start to show yeah. when it's going to go down, so you, know, you can't put all the blame on Reinhardt when all of a sudden that Bastion turret is hammering you down. I always feel like when I'm playing as Reinhardt that when I hear Junkrat say fire in the hole, I get the hell out of dodge. Is there any other sort of characters you should be wary of? You know who gets my goat all the time is May. Yeah. She comes up and she can freeze you and then she can headshot you with her ice bolt and then you're dead. And it's like the biggest size discrepancy in the entire game. But I mean, David beats Goliath every almost every time. <laughs> so you want to close with May very quickly, hit her with a fire strike, maybe get a hammer swing in or just back up and get your team to help you out. Just remember, you can point the shield in any direction. You can adapt for when a Genji or a Tracer gets behind you. If a Pharah is above you, you can block some of that. But you're also exposing the parts that you're not blocking. For sure, like every German tank, the weak point is at the back, so you got to be careful when you're playing as Reinhardt. Thanks so much for the tips, Chris, and for more tips on Overwatch, stay tuned to GameSpot.com and hit that subscribe button.